Next up, I love these stories. I love these stories that, that give caution. This is a uh, blue cartoon shilled Wi-Fi and made a million dollars and vanished. So when I first saw the title, I'm like, that's pretty interesting. I'd take that to check that out. So this is what the story is all about. The blue Kirby Twitter account, which I had no idea that it existed, which was a briefly popular member of the Ethereum community, has vanished after pulling a $1 million exit scam from the Wi-Fi token and other decentralized finance enterprises. Blue Kirby built up a substantial Twitter following, and he had a rise to prominence, came on the back of a DeFi token that skyrocketed in value. Does that sound familiar? And yet, after a mishap that lost a bunch of people, millions of dollars in tokens, the tide of popularity turned against him, and he promptly disappeared. Well, that only makes sense, right? I mean, you you shill out something, you're like, it's the greatest thing ever, and then put all your money into it, and then people do that, and they're like, see ya. And then, of course, what happened? Where's the guy? Well, of course he left because he made his money. So here's how it all began. Uh, this guy Kirby, or lady, I don't know who it is, used memes and a perpetually bullish attitude to promote a rising DeFi token called Wi-Fi. The token was one of the first to popularize a concept known as yield farming, where token holders are rewarded for providing liquidity. So just real quick, this is how it all works. Uh, banks, let's, uh, let's take bank as an example. You can't have a bank without having liquidity. And what is liquidity? Cash. So if you open a bank with no cash, it doesn't really work too well. Although uh, banks don't really have that much cash on hand, deal in a digital ledger, just a bunch of zeros and ones, and that's pretty much about it. However, they need liquidity. And the same thing happens on these exchanges, on these on these decentralized exchanges. They need liquidity as well. So what do they do? Hey, if you give us Ethereum or whatever you want to give us, uh, we're going to give you a governance token called Tomato Coin or whatever. And with Tomato Coin, uh, it's a governance token. It's not worth much now, but it could be worth like a dollar, maybe eight, maybe a thousand. We don't know. And the problem was, as the token's price went from being worthless, which it always is, well, not always is, but it was dying to be, it became worth tens of thousands of dollars and it made many DeFi pundits extremely rich. As Wi-Fi's price rose, Blue Kirby became somewhat influential, which is always the truth, right? When somebody has a lot of money, they're like, oh, that guy must know what he's talking about. No, not all the time. Sometimes they're just scammers. The founder of Yearn, Wi-Fi's a platform, Andre Kronhey, spotted their efforts and donated $400,000 of Wi-Fi to the anonymous figure, but then it went wrong. On September 28th, Krone started testing a project called Eminence on the blockchain rather than doing it on a test net. Uh, the project was designed to provide an economy for the gaming industry. So we don't know Krone, hey, he's built a lot of DeFi products and he doesn't believe in test nets. He just thinks, well, he believes that I'm going to build it and we're going to break it and then we'll fix it again. And whatever breaks then, we'll fix it again. And he's like, no, I'm not going to test net. Leave that to Ethereum. Let them deal with that nonsense. I'm just going to go balls to the wall and see what sticks. And uh, yeah, that's essentially what he, what he did. And the problem is, is that too many things broke. So Blue Kirby reportedly promoted it, the project, Wi-Fi, while it was being tested, or sorry, Eminence, encouraging others to invest. The project was then hacked a day later with the hacker taking 15 million in the attack before returning half of them. What a nice guy or gal. This turn of events caused Blue Kirby to suffer a major blow to his rep in the Ethereum community. And then it talks about how he also got into rareable and non-fungible tokens. But what it really comes down to is that eventually Blue Kirby's anonymous identity was discovered. And October 4th, Blue Kirby left the Ethereum community entirely after deleting his Twitter account. He left with approximately 1 million, which Sasano, the guy who wrote the article, estimates came from selling Wi-Fi tokens and keeping Ethereum proceeds from the non-fungible token sales and off blue sales. So here's the whole point. There are some things you can come back from, but it doesn't seem like this will be one of them, said Sasano, adding that even if what Blue Kirby did was an honest mistake, and even if they originally had good intentions, they have probably hurt too many people and broken too much trust to be welcomed back with open arms. And that is the big thing. Trust is a currency you cannot buy. And when you build it up, uh, it can take uh, weeks, months, years, and it only takes seconds to destroy. So that's why on this channel, I try to only bring the most stable things that I can. I don't promote that many things. And like, if I, if I do, it's pretty safe, like a notebook, <laughs> uh, the uh, shield folio. That's not going to break anybody's bank. I mean, I love it. I got two of them myself. They're great. 
I also promoted a like crypto trader for taxes because I truly believe everybody needs to you know pay taxes. And you know my uh, one two three punch on my uh, exchange fees spreadsheet, uh, Kraken, Celsius, and Voyager, and you know some other things. But I mean they're all things that I use. I have money in. I have skin in the game. So. It's just one of those things where you got to be careful in this industry, uh, especially with all everything that, that's that's going on. If you noticed, when the DeFi was go, crave was going on, I didn't do too many videos, not because I thought it was bad or evil. I just didn't I didn't really see how it could be uh, sustainable. And I know there's other people talking about it, and that's fine. They can do whatever they want to. But um, here, I'm a little bit more conservative, a little bit more reserved. I said the same thing from day one. I'm not a trader. I don't do TA. I just dollar cost average. I invest and uh, I try to have the strongest hands I can possibly have. Keep everything with that uh, tight Kung Fu grip as best as possible. And that's it. I mean, that's pretty much it's a very boring concept, but seems to work out for a lot of investors like Warren Buffett and those types of people. So I'm going to do that. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to uh, Q of the day. Everybody, welcome back to the office. So uh, today, this is a pretty good cue of the day. And uh, this is from Susie. And she states, uh, hello, Dan. I watch you on YouTube. Love your content. Thanks. Appreciate it. And straightforward style. I'm new to the crypto world, but I've dipped my investment toes into Bitcoin and a few altcoins. I'm interested in purchasing some Celsius, one of my favorite projects out there, as well, but cannot find on the exchanges I'm currently using. Can you please tell me what exchange or how I can go about purchasing in the U.S., please? It says you can purchase it through the sell app, but I'm hesitant to do that. Seems risky to me. I purchase on Coinbase and Binance and Kraken and places like that. So uh, pretty good question. And um, I'll just answer with this. If you don't live in the United States, or I'm not actually 100% for sure. I think maybe some states can buy Celsius uh, on the app. I'm not 100%, so you can fact check me. But uh, if, you, if you can, uh, definitely buy it on the app. It's very safe. Uh, they have a lot of uh, good safeguards in place. And uh, I've used the app and actually have, you know, 30% of my entire portfolio uh, on, in Celsius. Not in the, in the token itself, but on the actual platform. So um, I would trust it to actually buy the Celsius token. However, uh, I don't have that much Celsius token in general because, well, I can't buy it. And even though my rewards, you know, I'm getting a pretty uh, good amount as far as the interest on different uh, cryptocurrencies and digital assets that I have, uh, I cannot earn in Celsius because I live in Texas. So that's a bummer. However, there's a way around it and it's called a decentralized exchange uh, like Uniswap and SimpleSwap and places like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into my phone, um, into my computer, excuse me, and we're gonna take a look at how you can buy Celsius uh, just by you know setting up a couple of different things. And it's pretty fast and uh, super simple. So let's jump right in. So to find the Celsius token, the best place, well, actually one of the few places actually for me is Uniswap. And it works out pretty well, pretty fast. Everything works out pretty uh, simply and smooth. If you don't know, I use the Brave browser. It's fantastic. And the reason I'm talking about Brave browser right now is because I have my wallet connected to Brave. So all you got to do, if you don't know already, is in Brave, if you just click on the the Brave icon, the very top left, you can't see it right here, but uh, you click on Brave and go to Preferences. Under Preferences, here's all the different settings for the Brave browser. And over here, it says Crypto Wallets. So under Crypto Wallets, you can set everything up and have your Ethereum basic attention token. I have a little bit of cells. I have a whopping 35 cell. Wow. And then 10 USDC. And all if you want to send it, or actually what I do is I just send Ethereum. I just copy that address. And the the easy way would be to go to Coinbase, ship over a little of Ethereum like I've done here, and then, then that way you have it uh, to spend. So now that you have it open, we're just going to go back to Uniswap. And now you have it connected. See, it's already connected right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Ethereum, which I have four Ethereum right now. It's a lot. I shouldn't really, ha I shouldn't really have that much in there. But yeah, that I do. And let's take, oh, I don't know, 0 0.10 Ethereum. And what I want, we're going to select the token and just go to Celsius. And I could pick up a whopping 29 cell, which, eh, maybe we'll go a little bit, a little bit ballerish. So that's about, I don't know, 63, 65 bucks. Let's try for, that's about, a, that's about $100 worth of cell right there, give or take. So all I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna click on swap and go just be aware, output is estimated, you'll receive at least 87 or the transaction will revert. So sure, liquidity fee, 
Oh, not too bad. 0 0.009, which is a great time to do this. Before it was like way higher. Uh, price impact, sure. I'm going to receive 87. And the price was roughly, let's flip that around, 0 0.003 ETH or 292. Let's confirm this swap. Waiting for confirmation. And then here's where all the action happens. So, oh, sorry, it's about $113. Excuse me. So the gas fee, you're going to pay a whopping uh, $1.70. I'm going to get $113 worth of Celsius, and I need to confirm that action. Transaction submitted. View on either scan. So we're going to wait, and uh, hopefully it all goes through. Now nah, it'll go through. And there we are. And uh, that's all the sell. And it actually took like uh, three minutes, three to five minutes. That's uh, pretty good. So I've got a whopping 123 sell. Cost a little bit of Ethereum. I think I made a good choice there. And uh, yeah, that is it. Now, if you're looking for the direct link or which exchange to use, always, always try to get it from a direct link. And I have the exchange and wallet fees. There is a link in the description of every one of my videos. It looks like this. This will take you to just a basic spreadsheet about what is going on as far as all the different exchanges and wallets, how much you have to charge. And so we'll just uh, go over here. And just so you know, uh, there's these are all affiliate links, or at least most of them. So you can go, if you want to sign up for any of these, uh, after you check out the uh, rates and all the different things, uh, you can use this, but it's an affiliate link. Uh, you can get between 10 and $25 uh, when you just sign up, but you don't have to use it. You can go right to Voyager, right to Gemini, right to Binance, whatever, uh, just that you won't get the reward. So what I'm looking for here is Uniswap. And I will just click on this, and that is the direct link to go right to it. But uh, if you're looking for the correct one, uh, there it is. Now be careful because there have been scams out there where they just change a couple of letters or Uniswap.com or something like that. I I'm not even for sure, but I know there's been people who've been scammed their money because they are taken to the wrong Uniswap and they put the wrong information in, and then boom, leads to a big disaster. So go ahead and, and uh, go for that. All right, so that's it. You know, easy peasy, super simple. Uh, so go ahead and give that a give that a shot. I do think um, I do think Celsius is going to go pretty far. Uh, like I said, I like the exchange or I like the uh, platform. Uh, I like Alex Mashinsky, uh, the uh, CEO and the founder. And I like what he's doing over there, and he's got a pretty good saying. Uh, he says, "Do good, and then do well." And I think the interest rate that he's giving back to uh, all the people that have invested. Uh, their cryptocurrency and trusted on that platform is pretty great. I mean, if you can get anything anywhere from, you know, on the low end, 4%, all the way up to sometimes, you know, 18, 22%. I mean, try doing that in a bank. It just does not happen. So uh, that is it. Uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, review that video if you need to. And uh, that is it for this section. All right, so that's it. So thanks for sticking with me to the very end. Really appreciate it. If you don't know, I got a second channel. It's called Digital Asset News Clips. And I made this for two reasons. Uh, first reason is sometimes I talk a little bit too much. So I want to break up just the clips of each section so you can go and watch them. And you know, like five to seven minutes and they're not too long and I don't, I don't uh, take too much of your time. Second reason is it's a backup because you never know what uh, YouTube could do to, to this channel. So hey, that's one of them. And I have this channel as a backup and also I have my backup channel over at Theta. If you haven't checked it out, I do a lot of live streams these days, which is really fun because you get to you know interact with people and answer questions. So uh, check me out there. I usually do it in the mornings. Uh, I try to do it every day and I uh, just do it. There is a link in uh, the description of every one of my videos uh, for my Theta channel. So uh, that is it. So thanks for sticking with me to the very end. Appreciate it. If you like those types of videos, maybe two more is going to pop up on your left and right. And uh, just check those out when you got time. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks so much. See you on the next one.